As you can see with our gusset application, whether it's a side view, top or bottom view, we're going to use two common shapes, a square and a triangle. If you look on this bottom view, notice how the triangles are placed around the outside edges of the design itself. The squares are used in where we have multiple joints, as you can see in the center here. So as this layout, as you see on the bottom view, obviously we're going to need more triangles than squares. But we're going to try to keep them relatively the same proportion or same size. The side view, same rule applies. Triangles be, will be placed on the outside edges. And it's important on your side views to be sure that the triangles uh, do not stick out of the outside edges here. Because we're going to glue a bottom view right underneath here. So we need to keep your triangles on the inside of these perimeter. And as you can see how these are placed on here, this allows us to glue a top view directly on top, nice and flat, a bottom view nice and flat here. If you have a gusset sticking out of the bridge itself, then what's going to happen is we're going to end up with uneven edges here. So we want to try to keep all your gussets to the inside of this edge here. And you can see again with this particular design, I only needed two squares. When you're putting the gussets on, we must have an equal amount of gussets on both sides. So whatever you put on the first view, will then turn it over and add the same amount of gussets to the other side. So next, I want to show you how to do the gusset layout. Okay, the supplies you're going to need for the gusset layout will be a ruler, a note card, pencil, and eventually a pair of scissors to cut the gussets out. For right now, we're going to begin the layout by starting at the bottom edge of your note card. So normally you can tell note cards have a red line and that's usually indicated as the top part of the note card. So we're going to start on the opposite end. Taking the edge of your ruler, I'm going to turn my note card sideways. And what I want to do is I'll take the edge of the ruler and align it with the second blue line from the bottom. So there's the first blue line, the second blue line from the bottom, Take your pencil, hold it almost straight up and down, and drag the pencil toward you to get a nice, stark, straight line. Once I've made that, then I'm going to continue this pattern. So there's my first mark. So that was one, two lines. So I'm going to go two more lines up, one, two. Align my ruler on that second next blue line. And then again, almost straight up and down with the pencil, pull the pencil toward you. Continue this pattern every two spaces until you get to the top of the note card. As you can see, try to align your lines as best you can and always try to pull the pencil toward you and that prevents your pencil from slipping underneath the ruler. So pulling the pencil toward you keeps it from slipping underneath. So I'm doing this as I get to the top and I have another set of two lines here. And once I've made those two lines, different note cards have different amounts of spaces on here. We're going to go ahead and use these two lines here. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six equal strips. I'm going to then turn the note card the original direction I had it horizontally across. And what I'll do now is align my ruler at the bottom edge of the note card. And so now what we learned from the bridges were to find the zero mark of your ruler and align that with the edge of your note card. Starting with the zero mark, measure in a half an inch and place a dot right at a half an inch. Then go another half an inch, so a half plus a half equals one full inch. So I'm going to continue this pattern now to do a half an inch all the way across in half inch increments until I get to the right side of the note card. So our gussets will then be a half an inch wide, two lines thick. A half an inch wide, two lines thick. Now once I have that in place, what I want to do is then place my ruler on this first blue solid line that I marked, and I want to do that half inch mark again. If I continue to do this all the way across, this will help keep our squares relatively square, straight up and down. So I have my marks now. I have my mark at half an inch here and down here. 
So all I have to do now is then turn my ruler sideways, beginning with the right side, connect those two marks and draw a straight line. Slide the ruler across. So if you are right-handed, you want to continue sliding your ruler to your, le toward your left. If you're left-handed, do the opposite. Drag your ruler to the right. This way the ruler doesn't scuff up or make any smudges. So I'm lining these squares up and as I'm working my way across, I'm trying my best to line up those two marks that I made at a half an inch. Notice before I draw my lines, I secure the ruler down with my hand, my opposite hand I'm writing with. That keeps the ruler from slipping and making a crooked line. Now as you can start to see, we're making a lot of squares now. So with our squares, we're going to leave them as squares, but back in the previous demonstration I told, us, told you that we only needed a very few squares and more triangles than squares. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to count three boxes in. This would be one, two, three boxes in. And on the fourth box, we're going to connect the corners, align your ruler, connect the corners, and make a diagonal line. As you can see, we have two triangles out of that diagonal line. Continue this pattern going all the way to the right of the note card so that we can cut triangles out of this pattern. So once again, as I'm drawing this on here, remember we showed you that the triangles outnumber the squares no matter which design you're making for your bridge or your tower. So now I have this process made. The next thing we want to do is we want to cut these out. So now we're finished with the pencil and the ruler and what we need now is our scissors. You're going to take the scissors and we're going to cut out those six strips. So as I cut along the line here, open the scissors up as wide as your hand will go and cut directly on top of those pencil lines that you made. And again, try to hold the note card parallel to the table. This will allow you to make straighter cuts. There's three, four. There we go. And now we have our strips cut out. Notice I only did the layout on the first strip at the bottom. The reason why we did this is so that we can take that first strip and put it right on top of the remaining five strips. So we're going to line everything up as tight as you possibly can. And now with everything aligned, we're going to begin cutting our triangles and squares. Take the back of the scissors like we use when we cut the wood, open it up as wide as you can and directly above your table make a nice clean cut like so. If you hold this up in midair and cut it then the gussets fly all over the place. So by holding it towards your table and cutting gently you have noticed that the gussets don't split out. They all land in a similar pile. So you continue cutting out your triangles and your squares so you have a pile of each. So I'm going to just turn this around for time's sake and show you that I will then have my pile of triangles and my pile of squares and I can begin adding my gussets to my bridge.